fourth class. October 18th, 2020. Fifth class. November 15th, 2020. Eighth class. December 6th, 2020. Twelfth class. January 3rd, 2021. 16th class. February 17th, 2021. Class. March 7th, 2021. March 14th, 2021. 21st, 2021. This is my climbing diary. Fourth class. October 18th, 2020. Today was overall a hard lesson, but I managed to succeed on two routes. Me and Chuan Yue, coach, which is my coach, recapped all the moves from last class, including Fa Li, Ce Shen, Jiao Cha, Shou Jiao, and more. Ugh, I'd be really tired now. I also climbed up a really high wall, but the road was easy. I also did many Fa Li, which is like pushing like and going on different high roots moves. I scraped my hands, but it's okay. Fifth class, October 25th, 2020. Ugh, today's climbing class got harder again, but more fun. I learned more difficult moves, different routes too. And I also climbed a really hard route, which is there's many like big, big points, and I have to push on the points to get to the top, which is really hard to explain. I also learned this new move, which basically is that your elbow like, is moving outwards, and you can like push from the elbow to get to a point. And this is my first time climbing with a bahu, which is someone will pull your rope, and then you can climb on the rope. And it's super fun hanging there if you're like really tired. And the good thing about bahu, I think, it's that if you mess up, you won't like fall straight away. You can just hang there, so like you won't have to start over again and yeah this is my fifth class of climbing sixth class november 8th 2020 i climbed a purple road again from last time and it was so tiring not exactly hard but requires a lot of strength Today is definitely the most tiring class I've ever had, especially the coach asked me to climb so many routes, one after the other. How am I supposed to climb all the way with up without resting? I also climbed a yellow route that is really hard to grasp, and my coach says my name wrong in the path lesson all the time, so like he'll say joy or or Joe instead of Jill, so this time he finally remembers my name and says Jill. Seventh class, November 15th, 2020. Today I want to climb a lot of new routes that are not actually hard but requires a lot of strength. Luckily, I climbed up a very long road and I didn't succeed last time, so bravo! Someone said your name had a ton of room. Suddenly you're there standing in the crowd. Eighth class, November 22nd, 2020. Today's class practices got harder again. Every time it gets harder, actually. So, yeah. But I succeeded on most of the routes. The best part was that I learned to climb really fast on a route. My coach calls it Cat King because it looks like a cat climbing it. Very agile. I later changed the name to Catwoman because I'm kind of obsessed with the Dark Knight. Ninth class, December 6th, 2020. This is a really hard route and I'm clearly struggling. Um, this is a really hard move I learned today. I basically have to bend my whole body so that I can move up. I fell a lot because I was scared to fall down. But why do we fall? So that we learn to pick ourselves up. I'm still obsessed with the Dark Knight, thank you very much. Because of today's class, I realized that climbing is about mental court instead of only physical skills because after the coach said that he was sure that i don't fall and hit my head i got more confidence and succeeded on the route 
Before the coach says that he was actually protecting me, I was scared that I will fall and like break a leg or something. But after the coach says that I, I won't fall and he'll protect me, I got on the route because physically I could absolutely do the route, but mentally I, I can, so yeah. So you really have to get rid of that thing that is blocking your mind and telling your mind that you can't go up on that route to succeed. Just like Morpheus told Neo to free his mind in order to jump over that building. Tenth class, December 13th, 2020. Today I climbed a lot of high routes which is really fun. There is also a window that is really high and the only way to see what's out there is to climb on top in a high route and see. Guess what? Today I actually saw what's outside of the window and its buildings. This two wall route is so fun. So basically it's two walls together side by side and the road goes on over the two walls and this is me and that's the window so i've been wanting to see what's outside of that window but the only way to see it is to climb up there so today i finally climbed up and see what's outside of the window but it's only the blue sky so yeah Hi, Fetty. Hi. Do you want to draw? Of course. Okay, let's make you draw. <laughs> Aw, baby Gorlin. Yay. 11th class, December 20th, 2020. I climbed a super tough orange route, which is super hard. I rested in midair for so long, but I did get to see what's outside of the window though. The window is actually really blurry and there are only rooftops outside. I also learned to tie ropes with my dad. I'm definitely super bad with the tying ropes, but after trying a few times, I successfully learned to tie an eight knot. And basically on that climbing class, I'm dead. class january 3rd 2021 first of all happy new year and yeah today i climbed a lot of harder routes that requires weird postures to achieve for example in one of the routes i have to get my foot really high and in another i have to control my body to prevent it from falling over the routes in the gym also change a lot since i didn't go last week me being very happy Thirteenth class, January 10th, 2021. Today I climbed a lot of new routes that I haven't tried before. They're all a bit hard. This is a very hard move. I have to jump a bit to grasp the point. I failed like eight times and finally succeeded. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially when you like fall many times and then you finally succeed, you'll feel a lot more happier than when you succeed at once. So yeah, there's benefits of everything. The light is pretty fun. So this is kind of a projector thing that the coaches use to like direct you. Fourteenth class, January 31st, 2021. I might have got super tired that day and I forgot to like draw this diary entry, but here are some clips from that day. Fifteenth class, February 7th, 2021. Today is the toughest class I've ever had. Well, I'm pretty sure that I'll have tougher classes in the future, but today is just tough. There are a lot of hard routes and I failed on most of them. 
This is basically me like really very struggling to climb up a route and I fell like so many times and I, I didn't succeed on that route. Other than that, I got three blisters, like almost blisters, so yeah. Sixteenth class, February 17th, 2021. Today I failed on a bunch of routes. Um well the roots got harder too so i think that's fair this route was v3 obviously it's hard and i got a little actually a lot scared up there but no pain no gain i fell a lot on this route because i was like really scared and i've mentioned before that it's about mental courage a lot so if i boost up my mental courage i may be i maybe can succeed on this route but yeah who knows it's hard it's v3 okay at the end of the session i climbed four high routes and succeeded on all of them this is me on the high road and thinking I'm just gonna cheat a little. Seventeenth class, February twenty eighth, two thousand and twenty one. Today, other than climbing, I tried a lot of equipment on the second floor of the climbing gym. This is for finger strength. And you can also use it for core workouts by lifting legs. This is a machine for stretching legs and that's the farthest I can do. Eighteenth class, March 7th, 2021. Today is over on a successful climbing class. I climbed a lot of high routes that are not very hard and went up on all of them. After that, when I'm already tired, I climb some boulder routes that are not that challenging, but challenging anyways because it requires a lot of strength and since I used up most of my strength when I was climbing the higher routes, um, that didn't run really well. This is an orange route that I really like because the moves are really cool when you like get up there. And this is me climbing a green route. And this is me basically um, kicking the camera. Nineteenth class, March fourteenth, two thousand and twenty-one. Today was the most exhausting yet important class. I only succeeded on three routes, but um, when I was climbing one route, I failed a lot of times. When I finally went up that route, people have been watching me, were cheering and clapping. It felt really, really special. I don't think I've ever sweated this much, and I also got some bandages for my poor fingers. And this is basically me climbing and there's this older boy who is like climbing too and he helped me a lot because when I fall down on one of the routes he doesn't see anything and he'll climb that same route that I failed on and he'll like just show me how to climb that route and he will be like come on come on and I think that's really it's really nice. Twentieth class, March twenty first, two thousand and twenty one. Congrats, Jill! You made it alive to the twentieth climbing session. You're gonna make a video to celebrate it, which is this video you're watching right now. Today was a pretty fun class, and I climbed a lot of fun routes. This is also the first time that my mom climbed. I taught her many things. We also met a girl from Norway, the same age as me. This purple route is just too hard. This orange route is so fun to climb. This is a high route designed by my code, Tuan Yeah. This is my mom climbing. Um, she's a bit awkward on the wall, but yeah, she. this is her first time, so. stuff eventually leads to my first ever climbing competition, March 26. I signed up for the V0 to V2 competition, since I'm obviously a beginner. It was a Friday night, and when we were driving to the climbing gym, there was a huge traffic jam, so I basically sang all the way on the car. 
After I finally arrived at the gym, I got a sign-up sheet to record all of the routes I'll climb. Then I went to hear the rules. Turns out this is a very open competition. There are 10 routes to climb. So I'm really just competing against myself and see where my strengths and weaknesses are. Finally, it's time to start the competition. I started by climbing the fourth route, since that route has the least amount of people lining up. I succeeded on that route quite easily. So, a nice head start. After that, I went to line up and climb the first and second route. They were both quite easy and I succeeded on them quite easily as well. After lining up for what seems like an eternity, I climbed the 8th route, which was pretty easy for me as well. But after that, things started to get really tricky. I tried the 3rd and 5th route and failed on both of them. The third route was probably because I didn't figure out the right way to climb it. And the fifth route was probably because it was just beyond my scope. I got a bit emotionally and physically stressed at that point since I fell two times in a row and there were people watching, so I was a bit embarrassed. But now that I look back at it, I didn't really have to be, because everyone came here to learn and improve. And we're all just competing against our past selves, so no one really cares. After a boost of my strength a bit, I went to try the 9th and 10th routes. They are both balanced routes, which means that I have to be really careful climbing them from and prevent my body from falling over since it's really about balance. I fell at first. But everyone helped each other and I eventually succeeded on the ninth route. The tenth route is a bit more tricky. Me and many others all fell at our first try. But after seeing more people climbing up, I successfully climbed that tenth route. Turns out it was the small moves that prevented me from succeeding that move and I have to observe more closely at other people to succeed myself. I was really proud after I succeeded since I did so many tries before I finally succeeded. The climb competition was finally over. I succeeded 6 out of 10 routes although my coach says that I need to succeed 7 out of 10 but that's okay. Well this is my first time so I guess that's reasonable. I got this pin as a reward. This competition means a lot to me because it kind of stands for a, a milestone of my 20 climbing sessions. Of course I'm going to cl continue climbing and I think from this competition I learned a lot of, I learned how fun climbing can be. Anyway, thanks so much for clicking in this video and see my climbing journey. See you!